Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I am back with part two of this fun, fun, fun vintage uh, consignment uh, that was sent in by a viewer. Um, if you are interested in consigning your jewelry with me, just reach out. My contact information, email address is in the description below. If there's something that you're interested in in this video, the link to my auction is also linked in the description box below. If you're new here, we do jewelry unboxings, mystery jewelry unboxings. Um, and if you are not new here, welcome back. So let's get into it. I did move the phone. Some people were saying that it was kind of loud. It was too close. So let me know if it's any better. Try to adjust the lights now. Tank, track, link, choker. Tank, track, link. Tank track link choker. I'm not sure what that means. So this is silver tone. It's got some wear to it, but I'm gonna try to buff it out and see what happens. That must be the style of the chain is what that bag says. So very cool. I'm saving the best for last. There's a bag of plastic, well, I saw some plastic beads, if you remember from last time. Oh, this is pretty. Looks like we have maybe a sterling necklace. Yep. So sterling, this is probably a, a blue topaz. I'll test it to see. But that's nice. Maltese style cross, necklace and earring, Rolo chain, Etruscan style signed. All right. That's a lot of info. Ooh. Now that's nice. That's beautiful. It is signed. You can see that mark there. Very cool. This is a beautiful, beautiful set. And then you've got the matching earrings here. And they're signed and they're in super condition. This consignment has had a lot of really, really good um, costume jewelry. And I always appreciate that. All right, we have a tennis bracelet. Possible to see through for here. Let's see. No idea. I'll look with my loop. But this is really pretty. Beautiful uh, tennis bracelet. I don't know if it's gold or silver or just costume, but it's pretty. Okay, early 1900s. Israeli art school. Ooh, that's so nice. Very classic Israeli silver with that filigree. Turkey also does um, a lot of the silver filigree. See the signature there? Made in Palestine. I think that's what it says. That's stunning. Really, really pretty piece. I'm going to leave that with its note. Let's see. Ross Simon, Genuine Stone, Supreme Garnet. Yep. Tennis bracelet. Oh, this must have been from a receipt or something. Huh, interesting. So we know it's Ross Simon, and I've shown you guys that mark before. 
beautiful. Really, really stunning. And it looks like we have a little pendant here. That's probably sterling and gold vermeil. L, sterling ring with pink red stone. Oh, that's pretty. That's probably a ruby. And how interesting it would be worn with the ring on the back. That's interesting. What is 925? Well, this is very cool. Yeah, that's gonna definitely be a ruby. I can see, um, can see it pretty well through there, so. All right, CZ925, Pave Zirconia. Oh, that's pretty. That open reticulation in the back. And here's the front. You guys might be hearing weather. By the time you see this, hopefully the hurricane has already passed through and no issues, but we are in the midst of a hurricane right now, or a tropical storm. This is pretty. Very blingy. And so far the weather hasn't been horrible, horrible. It's a lot of rain, but come coming in waves. All right. Dancing Love. It's like a genuine diamond necklace. Oh, and it is from Dancing Love. And I am assuming that's going to be set in a silver sterling. Yep, there's the 925. So it is not unusual to find diamonds set in sterling. Some people are allergic to gold. Some people like sterling better. I don't know. This is the bag I was holding because look at those beads. Oh my goodness. This is a fun bag. I can tell. So yeah, always check your stones. Um, if you don't have a Presidian or a gem tester, um, you know, find someone that does to kind of help you. Okay, so this is like a tribal made piece. Got leather and bone and turquoise, very cool. Take orange topaz, glass pendant. I can tell you right now, that this is going to be a glower. This will be uranium glass that has uranium. And I know you're used to seeing the yellow, yellow greenish stones, but these actually glow because they also contain uranium. And very soon I'll have a black light to show you. I have all of these things, but I don't have them where I do the videos, so. We need them constantly at the office, so that's where they're at. that's where it's at. Okay, let me get this off. Okay. Look how beautiful. Stunning, stunning Victorian era. Mm. So very pretty. Beautiful chain. Very old closure. Yeah, I wish I could show it. So this will glow a very, very neon, neon yellowish. So pretty. Here we go, Simon. We have an EXO bracelet, silver and gold vermeil. Very nice. Sterling Silver Jade Pendant. You can see 925 there. Oh, he's sweet. Yeah, he's definitely going to be Jade. Jade will also glow. That's beautiful. <clears throat> All right. 
related to missing marcasites, though that JJ that she's drawn, that's Judith Jack. So there are two, two J's that are back to back. That's Judith Jack with some marcasites missing. Um, it'll be a little hard to sell, but at least I can sell it for grams or whatnot um, for the melt. Reddish purple stone. This is going to be amethyst. It may not look it in the, through the camera, and that's sterling, but those are definitely amethyst. Very pretty ring. <clears throat> Ooh, beautiful gemstone ring set in sterling. Really nice. And then this graduated sterling pendant, I'm assuming sterling, yep. There's our marks. Oh, this is from Old Spoon. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's, I think it's actually Sterling, right? Yep, it's Sterling. It's like an, uh, somebody's like kind of done a hammered texture and made it into like a cuff for you to wear. That's cool. Garnet Marcusite 925 Butterfly. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's stunning. Beautiful garnets and marcasites. And anything figural. Diamondique. 925, uh, blue uh, simulated diamond ring. Oy. This is 1950s, made in Japan. A triple strand necklace. And this is in very, very good shape. We'll do very well at auction. Swarovski. SAL, yep. SAL and SAO are all part of Swarovski, are all Swarovski pieces. There's the signature. Here's the closure. And these will be glass pearls. A lot of people don't know that Swarovski makes glass pearls that are um, unique to, to their company. My of course. Okay, sort of a rose gold plate um, bracelet. See, how would you open? Hmm. So there's that. So it must open from, oh yeah, opens from the top. Very cool. Oh, push. Push there. So super cool. All right, we have some liquid silver. This looks like we have several liquid silver pieces. I'll get those out and look at them all together. Looks like there's quite a few. All right, so this is liquid silver, sterling. And this is a little fetish, a little fetish necklace. Native American in style and probably Native American made. It's another little fetish necklace. Beautiful little card fetish out of shell. And this one is liquid silver with coral. So super pretty. HK. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. So again, 1950s, 1960s, double strand acrylic pink pearl. They're kind of a two-tone, like a pink and a very light mauve. Oh, we have another liquid silver piece. And this one has some coral, a little, a little coral chip. 
<clears throat> All right. Genuine light blue Jersey quartz. So J King, so we should see a DTR. Yep, there it is. So DTR is J King. DTR is the trade name. So you see that there, DTR925. And that's a Druzy, Druzy Quartz. Very good ring. Ooh. Looks like we have some gold. 14 carat. So all gold, all silver, even if it's marked, I do test everything uh, before it hits the auction. So buy with confidence. These are beautiful. Let's see. Italian, pierced, or diaderma. Very good. Oh, gold plated. Look, I'm crazy. So it's going to be sterling and gold vermeil. I didn't even read that all correctly. Looks like we have some rings. Right, so we have some abalone and like, is that a moose? Lord have mercy, what is that, a moose or a donkey? I need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> I can see so much better um, with my light at work. Another pretty ring. And we have two here. This is a, like a little purple stone, and this looks like an onyx. Very well made. Navajo Native American. Oh, yeah, these are beautiful. But that is genuine turquoise. Very pretty. Hoop earrings. Oh, these are sweet. They're all twisted up. Come on. Well, I'll fix them off camera, or get them turned the right way off camera. It's a sterling with some turquoise chips. There's them, there's your marking. So pretty. Then we have, ooh, stunning. Stunning, stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, I like that one too. Very pretty. Bell Silver Trading Company. Very good native designer. I will clean this up very well. That's very, very pretty. I love it. All right. Looks like we're almost down to the beads. Let's go ahead and get out. Oh. oh, we have more liquid silver. Huh. This one's a little different. Okay, so this is liquid silver, and there's little pieces of lapis, and then you've got this pretty little lapis um, pendant with a feather at the bottom. And that's all definitely sterling. And then another one, um, liquid silver. And then you've got this raw piece of turquoise. So pretty. Now on to this. And they are Western Germany. Ugh. Western Germany is hot, hot, hot right now. So these are going to do very well. And the fact that we have a set, we have a Demi. All right, so these are acrylic. So triple strand, they make a pretty sound and they're in fantastic shape. And then our West Germany will be there. Beautiful. And then matched clip on earrings. There's our West Germany. Beautiful set. Ugh. And then this is the set I saw through the bag that I fell in love with. I thought initially they might be glass, but they're not, but that's okay. They're still good. Let's find these a little bit easier to 
hair. All right, so let's look at the earrings. So there is some verdigris. I'll do my best to clean those tips up. But otherwise, I mean, these are in really good condition. There's your marks. And then this beauty here. Oh my goodness, you're gorgeous. Triple strand with these molded beads. They're all acrylic. Have a look. I love these. So triple strand, you saw the Germany here. Very, very cool. And that is the end of this consignment. It has been so much fun. Thank you, thank you for sending this in. Um, again, if anyone is interested in working with me, just reach out. Um, it may take me a couple of days to respond, so don't panic. Um, I am, like everybody else, very, very busy. Um, but reach out and let me know, and I will see you guys on the next one. I am sitting in here in my office, and I have one, two, three, four more boxes to open. So don't go anywhere, and see you soon.